the impact of COVID on accelerating digitization in Africa. Investment in telecoms infrastructure was already well underway, but COVID has accelerated this. The continent has experienced significant increase in traffic arising from telecommuting, gaming, and other activities. In South Africa, the government granted additional temporary emergency spectrum to allow operators to add network capacity and make upgrades to deal with the crisis. Fiber to the home operators have experienced a surge in broadband demand. Corporates are accelerating cloud adoption, which has in turn spurred investment in African data centers. Telecoms infrastructure across the board is in very high demand. Tech players have also benefited immensely with a surge in demand for laptop and devices, teleconferencing software, security software, and cloud adoption, as I mentioned earlier. Tech-enabled sectors, as in e-commerce, have seen their fortunes change. Fintechs have seen significant increases in online, digital, and mobile transactions as the migration to cashless across the continent accelerates. Other trends drivers of African fintech. Increased mobile, smartphone, and broadband penetration have all been facilitators of African fintech, whilst financial inclusion is gathering pace. The unbanked population in Nigeria is an example of 60% as compared to 30% in Brazil and 31% in South Africa. Cash is still the dominant payment method on the continent, but the trend to cashless is accelerating supported by central banks and banking regulators. In Nigeria again, the government introduced what are known as payment service banks, PSBs. The central bank had also reduced fees on electronic payments and had limited ATM withdrawals prior to that to aid the move to cashless. Increasing intra-Africa trade following the enactment of the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement signed in May 2019 but which becomes operational in January 2021, is expected to further facilitate growth in interregional payments and cross-border payments. <music> Examples of investment and partnerships into African fintech have been numerous. Venture capital firms alone invested $282.5 million in African fintech startups in 2019. Private equity firms have been active participants as well. Recently, Helios Investment Partners, the African private equity firm, invested in Tunes. Global card companies like MasterCard and Visa have also been investing significantly, and they have been forging partnerships with both fintechs as well as with telco players. In July, Vodacom announced their partnership with Alipay of Alibaba. Banks like ourselves, have also been incubating fintechs and have been investing in them. Two such examples for Standard Bank include the platform One Farm in Uganda, as well as our investment in fintech Nomanini in South Africa in 2019. The role Standard Bank is playing in this space is significant. We have been funding mobile operators broadband providers, and other telecoms infrastructure for many years. We have also been taking corporates into the public debt and equity capital markets, and we have been raising private equity capital for fintechs across the continent. <music>